Hello. First and foremost, I would like to, you know, to, to, to send a little message to everyone. Hope that everyone is okay out there. Um, families too, uh, whoever's on the call uh, right now. Uh, something also that I wanted to say, uh, to thank the frontline workers that are making stuff possible for us at the minute. Obviously, they are doing extremely well, uh, whatever you are, uh, to make sure that the country can still function. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, thank them, uh, in all fairness. And to talk about what am I doing, you know, I'm trying to uh, uh, train in the morning, train in the afternoon, uh, cooking. That takes a lot of time already. Uh, trying to make phone calls also with the, with the staff, my staff, um, with, uh, with the team whenever we can to make sure that they stay in shape. Um, other than that, that's it. I know it sounds kind of boring, but the situation makes it like that. Um, taking care of myself a bit, like I said a bit before, but... Uh, that's, that's about it. I'm sure the commissioner and whoever is involved uh, to take that decision are working uh, obviously extremely hard to find out what we're about to do. All we can do on our side is to be focused and prepare to what, whatever is going to come our way. Uh, they're going to take the decision. We're going to have to execute whatever they want us to execute. But on my side, all I can do is to try to keep my team, uh, the staff, or whoever prepared to whatever is going to come our way. As you mentioned, I've seen that people took one way and one path. I don't know what's going to happen, uh, uh, what's going to happen with the league. We just have to wait and see and, and be, be, be ready for whatever that's going to come our way. Listen, I just think that it, it is a world problem at the minute. Obviously, we're all one country right now. Uh, either way, wherever you are, we're all uh, worried about our families, uh, we're thinking about how everyone is, make sure we're not, you know, uh, we're respecting the rules by staying at home and not passing on uh, that, that obviously uh, vicious uh, virus. Uh, so yeah, I try to obviously speak with uh, my, fami my family, sorry, as, as much as I can. Uh, know how they are, uh, see how, they, how they're doing, uh, how they're coping with everything that's happening. I try to take care of myself, obviously, and, and, and be in shape. I didn't do that for a very long time, but uh, yeah, that's it. And think, you know, sometimes one of the things that I do is, is thinking about the games that we played. I know they're not a lot, uh, but the situation uh, made it like that. Uh, but I'm thinking about stuff that we might change or not, or how we can play, or what can be the next step, or new uh, a way of, uh, of training, uh, are we going to do the same way or not, you know, a lot of stuff are going in uh, through my head sometimes during the day, although, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, you know, talk officially about it because I cannot, but uh, I, th I think about it. One thing that's... Uh, weird is usually you know you, you you tend to watch game to see if you can learn something from other coaches which is normal uh, right now obviously there's no game on tv you have no game so usually with the staff who watch games and we're like oh that's interesting i would never have thought about you know whatever thing that you saw and you try to implement it in a way that you like to play to make sure that it can look like something good um but yeah uh, that's 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 the tricky one because you're looking at old videos that we kind of went through already with the players uh, individually or as a team. So that's why it's, it's, it's not that easy, if you know what I mean. It's easier when you have new materials and you can show something new to the players. What we're doing right now is, is, is just thinking about what's been done before and which is we already talk about, uh, about it to the players, as I said to you individually or as a team. So that's not, that's not an easy one. And obviously everything is kind of on standby right now. We, we, nobody knows who's going to move when, who, what's going what's gonna to happen. We're all waiting to see if we're going to play football again. So, uh, I mean, that's where, that's where it is right now. For me, the biggest thing, like I said, when I, when I, when I joined uh, 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 Montreal, uh, the fact that now teams are buying players from the Mexican League and trying, managing to get players from Europe, from Europe earlier. 
I don't think that would have happened before. Uh, the league will, was always trying to get guys at the end of their season, uh, end of their contract, sorry, and, and try to see if they, they would come or not. Now, teams are going and getting those players from the, from the Mexican league early, straight away, young age, uh, Argentina. Uh, I'm not going to name all the countries, but that wouldn't have happened before. And so that's a sign that the league is evolving more. You know, you have the, you have the likes of, uh, of uh, Carlos Vela here playing here that could have gone back to Europe. But, you know, clubs now are capable of holding on to those players. That's, that's a sign of how the league, the league grew for me. We were kind of go, getting somewhere. It was early stage. Let's not get carried away. Guys were starting to understand uh, um, what we wanted um, and how we wanted to play and, and the intensity and the togetherness and, and the fight that we wanted to put into games in the right, you know, obviously fight in the right way. Um, but then you had to stop. But we're not the only one. Every, every team in the league were kind of growing into what they wanted to do, but then you have to stop. And then, like I said, trust is, trust is very important right now because you're not with the players. You're only sending information. Are they following the information? You would like to think so. Um, but it is what it is. You have to trust those guys. We, we talked about it in preseason. We talked about a lot of stuff and how we're going to behave and how we're going to play and what we're going to be. Uh, identity, the philosophy that takes time to put in place. But now you have to trust them. You have to trust them, give them information, give them exercises that they need to do. And when they come back, if you're a champion and you're a competitor, you will come back fit. Because that's, that's what drives you and that's how it should be at the end of the day. That's a very good question because you just don't know. It would be based, uh, obviously, on what they did. Uh, you would like to think that they're following our orders on, in terms of what they need to do because we need them to be back to a certain level to be able already to, to, to step, up, step the game up, if, if I can say. But they already know that when they're going to come back, we're going to have a test to find out how well and how much uh, work they put into, 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 into it uh, because I think that's very important because we can't waste time because we just don't know how much time we're going to get if we come back to play. So that's what I was mentioning before. You just have to be ready uh, to whatever is going to come our way. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a tricky one because it depends on how the players are going to come back. So we're hoping that they're working hard.